Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we have Custom M. Another slight change in topic. Good evening, everybody. We're Custom M, and we're the makers of membranes that can capture innovation. Who are we, you say? We're a team of scientists from Imperial College that have experience from leading labs across the world, including Cambridge, UCL, Riken, and Imperial. We have experience in biotech, having worked at GSK, and, in having, and having won multiple awards, inventors awards, science awards, as well as engineering awards. We also have ILM management qualifications on board. We're proud to, in, to introduce our advisor board for tonight, which is a synthetic biology lecturer, a Rio Tinto director for the Rio Tinto Center for Advanced Mineral Recovery, and a synthetic biologist biology investment manager from Midven C VC. Let's have a look at the membrane market. The membrane market is made up of many parts, one of which is wastewater treatment. Wastewater treatment is using two key methods for treatment right now. The first one is reverse osmosis, which is expensive and high energy, but it's capable of binding specific small water contaminants, although it does this by filtering out nutrient minerals to waste. Small water contaminants include heavy metals, hormones, and pesticides. These are facing increasing regulatory pressure to be removed from water due to governmental pressure. Ultrafiltration cannot bind these small water contaminants, but it is inexpensive and low energy. We've taken an ultrafiltration membrane that has the same properties of ultrafiltration membranes, and ours is, novel, uh, is a novel one called bacterial cellulose, and we've applied a protein coating on top of it that allows us to bind small water contaminants. This allows us to bind small water contaminants as they're running through the water when we filter it. This unique ability gives us the advantage of binding heavy metals, and we've so far developed a prototype that works for cadmium, nickel, and copper. For nickel, you can see it right here, we're able to bind 95% of contaminants in a water source. We are using synthetic, bi synthetic biology tools, and this gives us a strong advantage over our competitors that use chemical processes to functionalize bac bacterial cellulose and other membranes. So with this new adaptability and specific binding in mind, let's revisit the market. We're focusing on mining. Mining is a six billion pound global market for wastewater treatment, and it's predicted to grow due to increasing regulatory pressure on small water contaminants. This means it will double in just five years. We've gone out and talked to all of these companies, and based on it, we've identified that Rio Tinto is the most willing to buy due to being open to advanced tech and having strong, large budgets for buying advanced, improved treatment processes. In fact, last week, we met with the Rio Tinto director, who was so keen about our project, he's now joined our advisor board, and he said that they're willing to pay 200 million for one copper mine for wastewater treatment. Now, take into account Rio Tinto's six copper mines, and we're talking revenue of 1.2 billion, billion pounds over a five-year period. This is for a single customer, for a single mineral, and for a single market. We provide a full consultancy-based product where we install the product first, we then maintain the product, and we carry out application-dependent R&D that's customized, customized to our, to our um, producer, to our customers. We have a working prototype, and it scales. In seven days, we were capable of, binding, of producing 41 square meters of membranes at a fraction of our competitor's cost. We've looked into developing our product further. Right now, we have won multiple awards at the world's largest synthetic biology competition at MIT, and we developed our product from scratch in July last year. With 10K, we will develop our product further. We will develop 
um, our patent application. So right now we, ha we are developing a strong IP strategy with Imperial Innovations that is based around the lab work taking place right now for a potential appli pot patent application. As a finishing note, let me just say that during a few, day, few days of testing, we were capable of producing promising results for medical applications. Thank you.